Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another Gene video. Now, I don't know if we're on part 5 or part 6 now, but we just hit 1900 Gene. We are at rank 48 right now, almost rank 50, almost at that 2000 trophies. But here we are sitting at 1905, so we've been grinding gem grab all day today. We haven't lost yet. We're going to show you guys some replays of our games, show you guys our strategies. We've been getting counter comp snipe so much it's absolutely ridiculous but anyways let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what we got all right so here we go into one of our first games of the day and this game was actually pretty insane it was a very close game and i'm pretty stoked that we get to show you guys a lot of cool games today because not one win today has been convincing we haven't really 10 owed any team so we're going up here against a piper mid which does two shot gene now which is very toxic alec is ha alec has surge on lane over there he's able to run past him and then spike is on pam now pam is probably the best lane in this game right now um, the best mid on this map is probably Piper, so it is a pretty dangerous thing. And it does actually counter Gene now, which is so ridiculously toxic. I don't like it at all. Anyways, I could have gadgeted there. I tried to, but it just didn't work. OG goes down, I go down. And it's just not looking very good. Alec picks up some gems. He's trying to make a play over there. He rolls on, or spins, sorry, onto the pan, but he's going to go down. So now this leaves me in kind of a weird situation. It's 5 nothing right there. I'm able to get a really good pull over there on that Piper. Keep in mind, these guys are pro-Russian players, so these guys are very good. Plus, we do have some delay, which is kind of toxic. But anyways, Alec is doing a pretty good job. He almost kills the Pam on the left. He's not able to, and then I'm going to get two-tapped by that Piper. Now, this is really good because OG does get tapped, but he's staying there. He's not letting that Piper collect gems. Instead, he's just... You know, staying in the area where he can't get shot, but, you know, he can't let anyone do anything. It's really good. So, I'm just going to try and work down this Piper over here. Alec is over there with the Pam. And, obviously, there is a very strong sur Surge over here. It takes out OG. It gets to level 3 now. So, it is pretty strong. I'm going to go in a little bit of a risky play here while I'm the only one alive to take all of the gems. But, it doesn't really matter. We do pretty good. I use my gadget just to get some extra HP. And, currently, I have 7 gems. So, it's looking pretty good. 7 to 4 right now. They do have control. And, now Surge is on level 4. So, now we have a God Brawler on curveball spike now this isn't going really well i try and go onto uh alex lane so i can get a sneak pull over on that pam unfortunately the pam runs away the surge teleports out of og super which obviously isn't great seven to nine right now so it is looking really scary at this point we're just chilling right now i'm just gonna be in that grass playing aggressive i'm gonna be able to pull that pam and get the kill which is gonna give us the 10 gems 10 to 6 now because the Pam had some, had some. So we're going to run back as fast as we can. You know, that guy Link is looking very scary. He can teleport through walls. He can do a bunch of stuff. He's max level, so I'm very scared. We're going to be able to hit that final shot on him. Three seconds left. Two. Shimura gets that jump, tries to jump back, or gets that gem, tries to jump back, but unfortunately not enough time for them to tie it. And we're going to take that game. That was a very scary game. I do not want to face this comp ever again on this map because I feel like we will lose to it. But GG's to these guys. They're very good players. You guys can tell. Surge is 1143. The Piper is 1108. But let's hop into the next game. Keep things going. All right, so here we hop into the next game. Now, this game, we're going up against Mortis, Gene, and Rosa. Now, Mortis is very scary for us to go up against because Mortis does really well against me unless I use my gadget. It's the only way I can not die to a Mortis. It actually does really well against the Spike, and a Carl can't really take out a Mortis that well. You guys are going to see Alec be able to do so pretty easily over there. But it's not really the greatest counter. Now, we're going to be able to take out the mid pretty easily. Now, Spike on Rosa. We're pretty comfortable with this matchup. OG signaling that he wants me to shoot and just spray some shots and try and figure out where the Rosa is. So I'm going to take some shots. I'm going to use my gadget over there. My first of two gadgets over there on that um, on that Mortis. Sorry. And then we have this Gene over there. I'm spinning. I want this Gene to pull me. There's nothing he can do if he pulls me. So he's going to go for the pull. And I'm just going to wait for the Mortis to get a little bit close. I'm going to gadget him away. And it's 6 to nothing right now for us. We're looking good. They're all clumping up into Alex lane, which is actually really good for us because Alex does do that piercing damage. Now, I'm just chilling over here. I was considering a pull. Again, I don't have gadgets over here. I was very close to going down, which is why I gave a little bit of a spin over there to Alec. Um, but we have to be very cognizant of their gene pull. Obviously, we don't want to run into it. Really good super over there by OG. He doesn't want to go for this gem because gene pull is scary. Mortis is scary. There's a lot of scariness going around right now. Alec is going to do a great job by taking out that guy over there, which basically allows us to go up and get a gem. Their Mortis is going to die, so it's becoming a little bit more comfortable for us right now. Now, the Rosa does have super, so it can tank a lot of damage. We don't really have any knockback, so we can't just push it back. It's going to be moving forward. 
We're going to be able to get the kill. I'm going to pull the mortis because I feel like pulling the mortis. I low-key almost died because he did have bats, but we're able to stay alive. And we're going to take this win 10 to 1, and we're going to move up even closer to 1900. So again, let's hop into the next game and let's keep things going. So hopping into the next game here, we're going to be going up against Piper, Tara, and Sandy. Now again, a very good comp, although I feel like Alec does kind of shred through this comp, so it's pretty good. But OG, I feel like it's a little bit weak to these guys. So you're going to double lane Alec. Don't double lane a Carl. You're, the Carl is literally just going to slice through you guys. We're able to pick up the two kills over there really quickly. Alec already has a super. I have my super now. Now OG's, you know, doing OG things, just taking his time, you know, doing things very slowly. Eventually he'll win lane when the game's like 10 to nothing. But we're going to be able to get a pull over there on that Piper. Now these guys are EU players, but we did, I think, get server this game because I didn't have too much shot delay or any at all. I'm not sure if they're, or if they're EU, but they seem pretty sweaty and we've never faced them before so it's fairly possible um but anyways six nothing right now things are looking pretty good tara does expose our location it looks like the piper isn't a fan of these walls over here so it's gonna go ahead and break it og does win his lane with six gems into the game he took his time but you guys can see he's not hit he's perfectly clean full hp spike now i'm gonna go for that kill over there on the um on the piper was just a really easy tap for me now it's eight nothing og gets another good super down he's able to get the kill this time he's a little bit harmed but that little spike is going to waddle away and it's going to be able to regen now alex is going to go down over there i use my gadget just to gain some hp because i haven't used my gadget at all and it's going to reset i'm very scared of tara because i don't want it to get pulled but og's holding it down he's going to go down over there four seconds left there's not much that they can really do at this point i'm going to be able to get the kill on the tara and again that's going to be it now this is one of our easier games although these guys are stacked on trophies it was one of our easier ones. So again, let's hop into the next game. The next one was actually a very big challenge because of a very familiar face that you guys know really well. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys what's up. So going into the next game, we're facing Mortis, Gale, and the Bull himself, Pika. So this is obviously a very scary game because they have Pika and a launch pad and a Mortis. And just there's so much that's just so scary about this game that I don't even want to know. Alex gonna go right up against Pika. I'm gonna be able to help Alec out a lot, which makes him stay alive. Uh, they do have the Gale over there, which I think I'm able to kill over here. They do have a Mortis. Now, I know Pika is just such a god late game at getting the gems and running out, so I wanted to preserve my gadgets as long as I possibly could. Now, having OG on spike is very huge against Pika, but Pika's not having He's just gonna charge right through Alec and get that kill. He's gonna try walking in our spawn. I'm gonna hit him now. I have played with Pika for almost an entire season, so I kind of know the key to beating Pika. He's just going to run at you. You know, you're going to think he's, he's not going to be able to kill you. And bam, he's going to be able to kill you. So it's very scary. You definitely don't want to go up against Pika when you're playing your 1600 trophies. But anyways, I'm going to be able to get a pull, but I'm going to go down. Six to nothing with two gems on the map. So it's eight to nothing right now. It's looking very scary. They have position nine to nothing. Now I do have my pull. I am saving it over here. We're going to be able to get the kill over here on Pika. OG is going to be able to get his super. Now, the I don't know what this Mortis was thinking. It was 9 nothing, and he wastes all of his dash, all of his dashes just trying to be able to get that kill. And I'm just going to move out of the way and just, you know, I, I don't even know. Just OG kind of trapped him. He got the kill. We got super lucky. We honestly should have lost this game if I'm being 100% honest. But we did get the W, and I am not complaining whatsoever. Zen... This is a stressful game. I don't even want to think about it anymore. 12 to nothing win. We're able in this game to get to 1899. So we are one game away from 1900 in rank 48. So let's hop into the game and let's keep it going. Now hopping into our final game of the video, the 1900 game. We are going up against Russian Elite, which is a pro Russian team. Now these guys are really good. We did have a bunch of delay and they did have a pretty good comp for our comp. So it was kind of a scary game. I did get tapped by that penny to start off i kind of juked right back into the shot which kind of sucks um trash made bobby bs but anyways we're going to be able to have to hold position over here thanks to alec just destroying them um i'm not going to be able to kill that sandy i should have killed it over there i wasn't really aware that it was that low and now that i'm watching this i'm like wow i definitely should have killed that sandy but right there i see the sandy's low so i'm going to be able to get the kill um four to one right now alec is unfortunately missing this guy is kind of walking up he's using the very unused gene star power which is pretty interesting in my opinion but you know it's whatever um they get that uh the penny turret out which is definitely going to help them a ton with lane now penny isn't really in the current meta but penny turret is still one of the most annoying things in the game so we don't want to go up against it you guys can see it hits me over there it's going for me again it misses but it's currently six to three they got that gene pull they got the penny turret so it's anyone's match at this point um i was going to be try moving up but he's been kind of getting manhandled by this gene all game every time he tries to roll on it the gene just says no and just knocks it away alec 
He's doing a really good job over here, though. He is able to get that kill. So it's currently 6 to 5 as they've been holding control. OG is doing a good job on lane as well. So things are really, really close right now. 6 to 6. OG is able to get that kill. Now, I say I'm just going to sneak up on your lane, Alec, and get a sneak pull on that Gene. OG gets a good super off over there. He's going to be able to get that kill. Now, Gene has super and I have super. I can't be too greedy because I know he's going to go for the Gene pull. So I kind of bait it. I get a little bit close and walk out. Then I pick up those gems and I walk away. And just for insult to injury, I pull the penny get the gems and start to walk. Alex able to get the kill over there. OG is going to be able to do some saucy amount of damage. He's just going to just super me because why not? Going to be able to get that kill and that is going to be it and that is going to get us to 1900 trophies. Now we do have three days left and it is getting a little bit close right now as we're currently at 1905. We don't want to cut the time too loose. We don't want to wait till the last day. So we're going to continue pushing today, continue pushing tomorrow, and we'll see when we can get to 2K. But anyways, it's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, as always, hit the like button, hit the sub, comment down below, do everything you can. But thank you guys so much. It's going to be it. And I will see you guys again tomorrow.